Hello, this is Jeff from Viking like Houston, and this is a video number two, just on the basic overview of the settings on the CS20. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the applications, which are on the bottom row, and we can customize these in the order that we use the most. See, right now it's set in 3D viewers, set up and measure and stake row, but we can customize these to put them in the order that we want to use them the most. We'll take a look at the the survey screen on page one and we can customize the settings we see there and take a look at the point ID templates and change that. And we'll take a quick look at the measure application and the stake points just to see some basic settings. Always remember as a great tip, function F1 settings allows you to configure the settings of each one of these applications to what you want to use the most. Job code number one and we'll do some basic customization. I went in and I put the applications in the order that I wanted. See how the applications have numbers? There's like a number one for set and number two for measure. So if I hit number one, settings, number four, customization, and if I go down to app visibility, this is how I put them in the order. So right now I can see 3D viewer. I, I can put an arrow through that to hide it. I got setup, measure, stake points, cocoa, measure line, quick grid, create coordinate system, switch to base. So if I wanted to move quick ground up, I can just move it up and it gets over, switch to base, and the same with create points and lines. And that's how you move the applications around to put them in the order that you want them. Okay? So these are the order of the applications I use the most. So you can customize them. I got stake the line. A little bit further down is very similar to measure the line. So that's the first thing that I do is I customize the screen and put the applications in the order that we wanted. If I go to settings, customization, user define key, right now we're on GPS, so I'll edit page number one, F3 edit, and I did antenna height, so you can hit enter and you can pick what features you want. So time at point. Code and code description, if I wasn't using the like a coding with a code screen and want to do it manually, I do code and description. I like to get the antenna up, height up higher because sometimes if you hit code, it'll bounce back down. So you want the code below your antenna height so it doesn't uh, populate your antenna height screen to make a mistake. Then the height is your elevation and northern and easting. So once again, you can customize this. I would advise these settings. There's a page number two. You can edit it and put whatever features you want in there. Okay. Under ID templates, um, it defaults to GS001. So what I did is I hit new and I create a new one called number one. And then that way it just increments one, two, three, four, five. Select that, that's the point ID template. Uh, if we come down here uh, to our applications under measure, I'd like to come in here on the first screen, we'll hit function display. And I'll uncheck the RTK base because I'll just store it um, you don't want a base station 20 miles away to store it in the, the graphics screen. Okay? And then what we'll do now is hit the function settings. And you can say I want to see page 2 and 3. If you want to see page 3, automatic recorded points. If you want to do automatic recorded, you can say I want to take a shot every meter. If you hit function settings, this will allow you to go in there and then change how these are set up. So you can actually come in here distance and height, and then say I want to do it every five meters. Later on, we'll change this to feet, and we'll hit OK. All right? And then these screens pop up here, OK? This is your automatic recorded screen. Here's your job. Let's take a quick look at stake. If we go to stake, it picks your stake out job. Hit OK. And what I'll do, once again, hit function settings so I can configure this setting screen. I put a prefix of a thousand, so it puts a big one big digit in front of my stakeout points so I don't overwrite my control points. And I want to show the design control codes that come in from the ASCII file. Graphics would be facing north, you can change to whatever you want the sun. North is a good default. Quality control, if you want to be within a certain tolerance, you can you can uncheck that if you're not concerned about it. It'll warn you if you're outside that tolerance. And then info, you can customize like direction to point or distance to point. That'd be your bearing azimuth. So you can customize what you want to see here on the info screen. So if I hit the I button, then it'll come in and show uh, direction and distance to that next point. 
Okay, so if I hit measure and took a shot, so we call this point number one. You just store it. Uh, and when we go to stakeout, it'll give me a uh, direction and distance to that point. Okay. And right now we're in the wrong. So if I go back, I've got the wrong control job. We'll change that to job number one. Come back here. We're not dialed in. We're standalone. But there's our delta north and east in uh, our elevation and our cut and fill. Okay. If I come here to the eye and hit the third one down, that'll give me a course made good. And right now it's flip flopping. So those are some basic settings um, on measure and basic stakeout string. And uh, we'll do some more basic settings in the next video. Once, once the applications are set up, I can just scroll over, um, hold it down firmly, and it's almost like the uh, your iPhone. I can move these apps around. So you can type the numbers in or just scroll over to get the other applications that aren't on the first screen. Um, that's a quick way to uh, customize your applications so you can use the ones you use the most uh, where, where you want them. So I hope you found that beneficial and helpful, and we'll put a couple more videos up to, with uh, further settings.